pagdating sa pinakabago at mainit na trends, mapamotoring, teknolohiya, o lifestyle man, isa lang ang programang dapat pakinggan. Gearbox, the latest products, in-depth coverage, reviews, at interviews with the leaders and decision makers sa industriya. Gearbox, dalawang oras na siksik ng informasyon tungkol sa mga paborito ninyong sasakyan, gadgets, at pati na rin mga pang-araw-araw na bagay that make our way of life just a little better. Gearbox, hosted by Eric Tepan, Cap Maceda Adila, and Nana Nadal. Every Thursday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Dito lang sa Radyo Pilipinas, 738 a.m. Mga kababayan, ang inyong Radyo Pilipinas ay ngayoy itinalaga ng Philippine Broadcasting Service na hashtag COVID-19PHRadio habang patuloy nating hinaharap ang pandaigdigang pandemic na ito kasama ng lahat ng sangay ng PCOO kami ay maghahatid ng impormasyon at balita na inyong dapat malaman. Ito ang hashtag COVID-19PH Radio. Ang boses ng hashtag Laging Handa PH, ang crisis communications team ng Pilipinas. Impormasyon at balita para sa iyo, maging sino at saan ka man sa mundo. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. 5.15 on a Thursday. It is uh, July 16. And another edition of Gearbox on the air, live po sa Radyo Pilipinas 738. Eric and Cap po ngayong uh, hapon, uh, si Nana po ay uh, nagbakasyon. <laughs> well, uh, part of that is internet connection. No? Uh, wala pong internet connection si uh, Nana. No? So, uh, hopefully Classified mga... Classified under, ano yun? Classified <laughs> under technical difficulties. <laughs> Sana yung mga kinauukulan. Uh, kung, kung sino man ang uh, kanyang provider, eh, mapuntahan na po siya at masolusyonan to. Kasi syempre, lalo na ngayong GCQ, mahirap. Wala ka nang, uh, hindi ka na makalabas. Wala ka pang internet connection. Paano ka nakukuha ng news and information uh, you know, na kailangan mo? Uh, especially now na uh, in semi-lockdown pa itong uh, Metro Manila. Correct. Tama ka dyan, Eric. So I suppose si Nana ngayon, alam ko, she will try daw to monitor us. Siguro magtotrol oh. na lang sa atin muna siya ngayon. <laughs> comment, comment. <laughs> Comment, comment na lang sa ating uh, 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 Facebook. Speaking of Facebook. Oh yes, oh, while you're on Facebook, where I'm sure na papadon nyo kami ngayon, uh, kung di nyo pa po nagagawa, pakilike po ang aming official Gearbox page. That is Gearbox RP1. That's at Gearbox RP1. At kung nasa IG naman po kayo, please po, pakifollow na rin po kami sa Gearbox On Air. That's Gearbox On Air on IG po. Thank you. Okay. Uh, today, uh, siksik po ang ating show. As per usual, uh, we have Uh, pag-uusapan po natin, motoring, of course, hindi mawawala yan because Gearbox, we started off as a motoring show para po sa hindi na mga nakakaalam. Ano? We started off as a motoring show and then na uh, dinagdagan po natin ng tech and then eventually, after one year lang yun, bro, ano? after one year cap, meron yeah. tayong uh, tech and then a few months after or hindi, naka isang taon din after, no? nag-lifestyle naman tayo. So every year, dumadagdad, nag-expand itong Gearbox. Correct. Nung nabigyan tayo, na, kasi yung, yung mga nakikinig sa atin na mula nung umpisa ay eh, alam niyo naman po nung umpisa ay one hour lang po kami pero nabagyan po kami ng uh, very thankful thankful po kami sa opportunity na na-stretch yung show kaya mas marami kami na ibibigay ng mga balita sa inyo sa iba't ibang larangan sabi nga ni Eric nagsimula kami sa motoring then dinagdagan namin ng tech and of course now with with Nana hi Nana eh, we're also exploring the lifestyle a uh, bit ka nga ika nga so ayun thank you po I mean for every for anyone now actually we we have something for you Because we cover such a wide uh, um, variety of stories and interests. And uh, yun, uh, today we have motoring um, part of the show. Plus, uh, today for the first time, kundi ako nagkakamali, ano, we have, uh, um, in terms of mental health, ano, hindi lang health but mental health, pag-uusapan, uh, pag-uusapan natin mamaya on the second half of the show. But in the meantime, maaga po siyang nakasama namin, so ipasok na agad natin. Ano, Marketing and Sales Director of JAC Motors Philippines, Brian Badilla is on the show. Brian, magandang hapon. Good afternoon po, Sir Eric, Sir Cap. Thank you for inviting me to guest in your show. Our pleasure uh, to have you here. You guys, I was looking at uh, yung, yung website ng uh, JAC, you know, and you have such a wide variety of vehicles to offer. Uh, more on uh, the crossover side, uh, isa pa lang yung inyong sedan, but uh, dadaanan natin mamaya, papasadahan natin yung mga uh, vehicles na ino-offer nyo. But tell us uh, yung, yung background ng uh, JAC Motors, Brian, please. Actually, sir, uh, JAC started in 2018. We were the first Japan um, Chinese brand to come into the market. And actually, just so everybody knows, no, I, I actually joined the company um, mid last year lang. But essentially, before, the, the, the objective when they 
um, the Leica group of companies or the Leica Auto Group brought in JAC to the country was to to change the way people look at cars. They wanted to bring in the vehicles. When they saw the vehicles, first thing that's that attracted them when they were looking to bring in a new brand was the technology behind the vehicles and the pricing. They wanted, as we all, dun dun dumating nga ako na sir, um, the, the hashtag and the tagline was already forget normal. Simply because they, you won't be able to find cars and vehicles at this price range plus the features that we offer. So essentially, that was the what the objective of the company has when, when they brought in the vehicle. So 2018 yan, um, it was a bit slow. But we started uh, gaining traction and now when I joined in July, actually ako, I myself had some, had, a, had the same perception as everybody else when it comes to China brands. Alam naman natin pare-parehas yan. And I also, medyo ano rin ako sa kotse, mahilig sa kotse. And I, I said to myself, am I really gonna take this job? So alam nyo naman sir, Chinese brands. So sabi ko, but when I saw the vehicles, it was, it, it was just amazing the technology that they had plus when they brought us to china the first time i visited the plants in china i never thought they would have that technology everything's already automated everything is has is robotics already essentially sabi nga nila, they used to have about 30 to 40 thousand people um working the factories and but now they only only have five thousand people essentially taga operate na lang and taga set na lang ng automation so that's where where how Jack started, no sir. Ah, uh, ikaw na rin na nagbanggit, uh, Brian, na uh, you know, uh, Filipinos medyo kumbaga paano bang paano bang may, may experience na tayo basically sa mga Chinese brands, eh, particularly China, Chinese auto brands. And then mm-hmm. yun nga, we ask this of everyone or most most people that you know, we know represent um, um, China brands at the moment, no. Um what we are kind of aware of the quality nga before, no? Because many people, I mean, we, we, we can't gloss that over there. A lot of people have had, uh, let's say, um, bad experiences with Chinese brand cars before. Uh, I think alam na yan, well known na yan. Pero yun nga, um, aside from the fact that you say now, nakita mo yung factory and, and stuff like that, what can you say to the average um, Filipino car buyer who probably still has that, ano, yung agam-agam niya na parang, Teka, hindi eh. Bakit? Ba, ano ko eh? Kaduda-duda pag, pag China brand eh. Ano bang kinaiiba niyang, ano, niyang JAC na yan? Na uh, based dun sa experience ko. Let's say, halimbawa, isa siya dun sa mga napaso dati. Ano, paano mo i-explain ngayon yung brand? Actually, sir, for, for JAC, um, as it is, it's, it's a challenge to build the credibility given the previous experiences of other people. Uh, what we're trying to do now is actually through the, the existing owners that we have is get their feedback and get testimonials from them as well. At the same time, to build further credibility, aside from the testing that the factory in China has done through the cars, which is actually already very extensive, locally, we've also tried to test the vehicles ourselves by joining local races. And I'm very happy to say, because there was we have this one race, I'm not going to mention the, the name of the race, na, where in their format is... They they get a sponsor car, and then the, that the that car will be used by all of the race participants for two straight days. So when we saw that opportunity to join that race and imagine the car running for two whole days, we thought it was a good opportunity to really test the metal of the vehicle. So for us, it's more right now. It's more about sharing the experiences of the existing owners, given that the brand has been here for over two years now. And uh, thankfully, we haven't had so much. We haven't had much disappointments from them, and mostly, actually, our um, praises for the vehicle. Because the laban naman talaga namin is always the technology. And given this, this um, races that we've joined recently, we've been able to build the credibility further. So essentially, ganon naman sir. Um, the best testimonial to a brand and a car is always the customers. So that's why we are always getting in touch and have a community with our owners to ensure that we see what's happening with their cars and if there's anything that we need to improve, any assistance we can give. 
Um, we may not have as much sales as the other Chinese brands now, but what we're very happy is the satisfaction of the existing owners that we already have. And I'm looking at uh, a little bit of history ng uh, JAC. You, know, you guys started in 1964, so it's not like kahapon lang uh, or last year lang or two years ago lang nagbukas itong JAC. 1964, but you started. they started as a commercial vehicle manufacturer. And sometime 2000, nagsimula po ang uh, paggawa ng JAC Motors ng SUVs and MPVs. 2007, nagsimula na ng passenger vehicles. And then 2010, so 10 years already, meron na mga electric vehicles. And I want to ask about those because may mga Chinese <laughs> brands tayo nagdadala na ng EVs dito. And uh, it's, it's becoming more and more popular, um, not just in other parts of the world, but pati dito. So it's going to be uh, interesting to note kung anong approach ng JAC Motors uh, with regards to their uh, EVs. Uh, Actually, sir, in... Eric, ta... mm, sorry. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Actually, uh, you're right, sir. Actually, that's another thing that convinced me to join the company. Um, the company has been there 55 years, and they've been one of the number one brands in, in China in terms of commercial vehicles. So if they can build quality and um, heavy-duty trucks, and dependable trucks, there's no reason for them not to be able to build quality passenger vehicles such as the crossovers and the SUVs that we have. Um, uh, with regard to the, the EV, actually, sir, we intend to bring the, the electric vehicle that we have. Um, we intend to bring it initially before COVID happened. The plan was to bring it second half of this year while we're already on the second half. We're still looking into the possibility of trying to bring it in before the year ends. Actually, I, I I had the chance to experience the EV and I was surprised as to how fast it can go, 0 to 100 in a matter of seconds. And actually, that was the only challenge that we have is the, infra, the readiness of the country when it comes to EV. But because we don't have hybrid vehicles in the, at the moment and what we only have is a full, elect, full electric vehicle in the S2. So actually, we want to bring that in probably late this year, if not early next year. And hopefully by then, we will be able to have, the country will have the infrastructure to support. Because at the moment, what we're, we're trying to work with Jack China in terms of how can they charge it, and if it's something that can be just charged to the regular outlet, I'm pretty sure there's going to be an additional gadget that you would have to use for it. But certainly, we are excited to bring it in and hopefully be able to come up with a solution for the people who would be interested in it. So that's going to be the IEV S2, tama ba? Yes, sir. That's Kasi correct, ganun tawag sir, sa, I'm looking at your lineup, so it's going to be the IEV. Naunahan na natin, ano? Nailabas na agad ni, ni Brian, yung pang-surpresa pang natin. Nailabas na, <laughs> na agad ni Brian. So, okay uh, lang yan, okay lang yan. Expect, expect an EV from, is it JAC or is it Jack? Uh, how do you guys call it? Actually, sir, Jack or JAC is fine, sir. Wala okay. Kung ano, 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 ano. So, Jack Motors pwede din. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, wow. Okay. So, parang ano, na, na, makascoop na pala tayo. Na, um, so... <laughs> Actually, sir, we announced the same... That was very same... painless, ha? <laughs> Actually, sir, um, early this year, we, we announced the same. Although, hindi ganun sa not to us big of a, a group but we have also shared those plans in a, a early this year if hindi lang nangyari tong covid it would by now i would have been already preparing to bring it in kaya na actually even even the newest v crossover that we have got a little delayed because of the pandemic mm -hmm. Ano yung nakita nyo sa merkado na parang naisip nyo oy pwede to ah pwede na nating ipasok tong electrified vehicle natin na to ah Actually, sir, but based on the, the announcements uh, before COVID happened and the plans of the government to prepare the country in terms of infrastructure with EV and uh, the, the meetings we've had with the groups, car groups, no, that there, there are really plans to um, bring in electric vehicles. We, we just made sure that we are ready when that happens. So essentially, for everybody, and the, the vehicle talaga sobrang ganda eh. I I I'm a fa I'm a pet, pet, petrol guy and syempre yung amoy ng gasolina is different for us, di ba? <laughs> Pero when, when I saw the vehicle when, when I when we went to China just to share um 
we we got the chance to drive all the vehicles in the high speed test track that they have in their R and D center. And one of the vehicles, actually the vehicle that I, my favorite V Jack vehicle is the S7. This is the full size SUV of uh, seven seater that we have. When we drove it, of course, it's my favorite. I I drove it first in China, but when I drove the electric vehicle, the full electric vehicle, sabi ko wala na. Magkalimutan na tayo sa gasolina, sa, sa EV na lang ako. <laughs> <laughs> yung, ngayon, doon sa plano nyo na ipasok itong electric vehicle na to, it's just, so, it's just going to be sort of parang test muna na kung ano ang, kung magiging acceptable siya to the market. Or do you have a plan na parang, kasi, um, I mean, na natin na merong mga ibang magpapasok ng, or nagpasok na ng electric vehicles. And I think the biggest uh, consideration is yun nga, sinasabi ni Eric kanina, yung, yung infrastructure and then, of course, people will be, if they want to look at that vehicle, they will think, okay, uh, paano yung range ko dyan? Madali ba to hanapan ng charger? Or how do I do, how do how I go about it? Parang ganon. Um, is this vehicle going to be, uh, are, you, are you bundling this with, let's say, a charging system that can be used anywhere, a household uh, socket, ganon? Actually, sir, um, to be honest and to be transparent, um, we will test the market first. We may not be bringing so much in. And yes, we are looking at bundling it with a charging um, uh, mechanism or whatnot that can be used at home. So definitely, um, ang projection, kasi when we were told during one of the meetings that we had with one of the organizations no, that the, the full-blown uh, uh, full drive to have the infrastructure will not happen until 2021. And that was before covid and now that COVID happened, it might get delayed. So we are considering a, fo a, a, a package deal with a charging mechanism that they would need to be able to use the vehicle. But honestly, we haven't gotten that far yet in terms of the pricing that we're going to put it in um, and all those things. Okay. So for now, basta masaya na kami, nakascoop kami sa gearbox. Na... <laughs> diba? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Of course. We're, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. Nagpinag-uusapan na natin yung hindi pa dumarating. Ano? Pag-usapan muna natin yung nandito na. Um, in just two years, you guys launched 10 vehicles. 10 vehicles are in your lineup right now in just the two years that you guys were here. Um, let's let's start with uh, the subcompact sedan, ano? yung J4. Can you tell us about the, the only sedan that you have in the lineup? Yes, sir. Actually, the J4 is pretty much a subcompact sedan. Um, it is available in manual transmission and CVT. Um, currently, the CVT is priced at 720000 only. So if you look at it, and if you go into the details of the features, it has a power window and all those additional safety features. I don't want to bore your listeners with all the specs, though. But um, given that our goal is to educate everybody of what our vehicles are capable we have been comparing this with the uh, best sellers in the market. Of course, we we won't we, we're not putting out the names, no. But the 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 specs is definitely comparable, but at a much more affordable price. So the J4 actually we're about to sell the. Medyo actually paubos na nga units namin ng J4. Given the, the, the affordability of the vehicle oh, and maganda being yung pricing eh. You, me you mentioned 7 750 for the CVT? 720 CVT sir, Eric. 720. <laughs> yes, sir. So, mas mababa pa obviously yung 5-speed na 80, ano? Yes, sir. It's about 685 if I remember it right. Sorry. Wow. Wow. And then, That's, what, uh, what's the standard, ano? Sorry, what, what, what's the standard warranty on your on your vehicles? For all vehicles, sir, we have we offer the five-year warranty or 150,000 kilometers, whichever comes first. What? Okay. Of course, we want to show them the confidence that we have on the vehicles. And thankfully, over the last two years, we haven't had so much warranty claims on the vehicles. That's good news, of course. Uh, and maganda rin yung mahabang ano, no? um, warranty ninyo. Some offer only three years. So at five years, that's really peace of mind and that's you uh jac jack saying now uh, you know we're putting our money our, our our money where our mouth is or vice versa now um we're, we're backing up our cars you know so yes, uh the, the j4 uh now simula na natin to and dami yung uh, crossover this is <laughs> this is the, the bulk of your lineup you know from the yes, s2 sir. 
all the way to the S7. Wala lang dito ang S5 and S6. But uh, let's talk about the S, S2. It's a subcompact crossover. Yes, sir. This is actually the best seller that we have on the lineup. The CVT variant is at 798,000 pesos only. Wow. Um, the all-in low-down payment is about 58,000 if I remember it right. Um, because uh, as you know, about a year ago or two years back, the subcompact crossover become it was a new segment. And people were looking for this segment. And we wanted to give them, actually, ako, I have a, a, a subcompact crossover from another brand before I joined Jack. But when, when I saw the price and actually the features, I, I was I was I was telling myself, bakit ngayon, ngayon ko lang nakilala si Jack? <laughs> parang yung parang yung awitin lang na ah. Bakit ngayon lang? Ah. Ano ba yung kanta niya? Bakit bakit ngayon ka lang? <laughs> ka lang. <laughs> Dumating so. You know, ah, kanta pa ako. Okay. So the, uh, the the S2, ito yung 1.5 liter to. Um and yes, uh, according to uh I think one of your press releases, this is yung engine na to is one of the top 10 uh, engines in China, no? Can you tell us yes, about sir. It, Brian? Actually, sir, on the engine, um, it was rated as one of the, if I remember it right, top seven in terms of the build. Um, it also has a VVT technology similar to the other brands. But in terms of the weight and the, 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 the materials used for the engine, that's what, it, what made it, what brought it to be the, one of the top ten engines. So essentially, the the fuel efficiency and the rel reliability of the the vehicle is top notch. That a lot of people actually, the S2 Club is very proud of their own S2s, despite not having that much of a number yet. Talagang pinagmamalaki yan ng mga S2 owners natin, sir. What's the fuel consumption of the uh, this 1.5 liter? Actually, sir, sir Eric, no, yan yung isang iniwasan namin. <laughs> Ah, na magsabi ng numbers? Yes, sir. Kasi minsan, you know naman minsan eh, di ba? Uh, eh, the, the fuel consumption can de is dependent on so many variables eh. The driving habits, mm. the traffic. Driving but, style, traffic. Yeah, but on no, average, that, wala kayong ayon yung i-review? Meron naman, sir. About 12 to 15, sir. Wow. And this is, is this combined or pure city? Combined, sir. Combined? That's very yes, good. Sir. Not bad. Not bad. Ngayon, so, ang bestseller nyo nga, sabi mo, yung uh, S2, no? And yes, um, how many crossovers do you have? And then, gusto ko rin isegway to dun sa bago. Kaka-launch nyo lang, well, fairly recently, the S4. And, uh, yeah, please please tell us na, ano, yung, yung reception din ng market sa iba't iba yung crossovers or SUVs in general. Actually, sir, um, on the lineup right now, aside from the S2, we also have the S3. The S3 is a little bigger. We call it the mid-size SUV na already. So that's um, a little um, bigger than the S2. It's a one. It has a 1.6 liter engine. Um, NA din, sir, naturally aspirated. It has a little uh, bigger cabin, of course. And this one is priced at 918,000 for the CVT variant. Wow. So that this one actually, um, if you need more space than the S2, because admittedly, sir, the S2 comparing to the S3, mas malaki yung compartment ni S3. But in terms of the features, it's very similar. Um, in terms of the safety features, um, we have the hill start assist. Actually, when I joined JAC, it was the first time I heard about the, the hill start assist being a feature. Medyo old schooler kasi ako, yung mga kotse ko, 90s eh. Hindi <laughs> kaya, <laughs> kaya sabi ko ngayon, <laughs> hill start assist, so wow. I mean, it... Handbrake assist. Like, <laughs> the, the technology of the cars now is just so amazing. Kasi I, I have, actually, I have a, uh, a three-year-old car, the first brand new car that I had. And then I have a two-year-old, another car. Yet, I never had those features. Eh. So I was, and the, both cars were top-of-the-line models of other brands. And I was surprised that a Chinese brand, not being known to a lot of people, has these features that, it's not in the major brands that we have in the market right now. So that's what amazed me even further. It has the electronic stability control. Ang pinaka-favorite ko actually sa mga jack vehicles. Medyo mababaw, ah. Pero yung, alam niyo sir, di ba, may power windows, normally it's just the driver side. Mm. Na automatic up-down na one button lang. Ito, lahat ng windows up-down na. Natuwa lang ako, medyo mababaw yung kaligayahan. <laughs> you don't ah, have to... Yan, ah. 
You don't have to hold it for, for just to close the entire window unlike the usual cars. Kasi so ako kahit sa likod. Ko eh. Yes, sir. Kahit sa likod. Okay. Ayos yan, ha? So, yun yung mga ano. Um, aside from the S3, sir, we actually, yung full-size SUV namin is the S7. Ito yung sinasabi ko kaninang favorite ko. Because I got the chance to, kasi ako, syempre, when I came in, aside from the amazing features that I saw, I wanted to test it myself. So, the first thing I did when I joined the company, I drove the S7 and the vehicle that we just launched, we'll talk about it later, to the, um, around North Luzon. So, I took the North Luzon loop. And I was surprised because the engine of the engine of the S7 is a 1.5 turbocharged engine only. Um, mm. Then it's supported by a, a wet dual um, dual clutch transmission. It puts out about 170 horsepower, 250 mm. newton meters in torque. But I was, ako personally, because ako I have my I have a 90s Cor- um, Corona. And I changed the engine of that to uh, an engine of a Celica that puts out 220 horsepower. So I know how the how 170 yung S7, 220 yung kotse ko. Mahina pa rin ang dating sa akin. But when I drove it to 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 going to the North Luzon Loop, I just can't. I'm really uh, astounded and surprised at the power. So, itong S7, is this a full-size SUV? And the, yes, do the 7, does it mean 7-seater siya or hindi? Yes, sir. 7-seater din po. Okay. So, 3-row three row, three row, ano siya? 3-row uh, SUV. Yes, okay. sir. It has a panoramic uh, panoramic roof. So, um, at the same time, push start button na rin. And then, a lot of features. One thing that I love also about the... I love and hate at the same time at the S7. <laughs> it's because of the front collision warning that it has. Um, because I used to have... Can I mention a brand? <laughs> yes, of course. Sure. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used, to have a, I used to have a Subaru XV. And the XV has the eyesight technology, diba? And never saw that in any other vehicles. When I drove the S7, they have that as well. It's just that they call they don't call it eyesight, but front collision warning. I love it because it keeps me safe. I hate it at some point because when, remember when it's traffic, minsan tutok tayo sa driving. Kung may preno siya mag-isa, pag masyado na ako malapit, so susubsub ako. <laughs> Safety first daw eh. Safety first. Safety first. And then, of course, actually, ang dami kong first sa Jack, sa JAC. It was the first time I heard about the lane departure warning, the blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, and uh, I would have to admit I'm really uh, a bit of an old schooler when it comes to cars, no? Because dalawang '90s car yung meron ako, so I was really amazed with the technology. So when I did my own research, of course, I have to do my research how it compares to the other brands for me to be able to do my job. I go, wow. The pricing and they're giving so much le- so much features. I can't. As I told hindi hindi ako mahihirapan ibenta to or i market. So How that's much is the S7? S7 sir is just at 1.6 million. Mm, without naming brands, ano ba yung ano yung mga presyo ng mga kung baga kaliga nyo yung ganong size at least? Uh, when we compare sir, the pricing it's um around 1.8 to 1.9. Kung para matapatan nila yung features. But some of that, the, the, the direct competition of the S7 at 1.9, labang pa rin kami sa features. I mean, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be bragging about it, but I'm very proud to say that even though we're cheaper, we can give more features at, as compared to the competition. Okay, so value for money in terms of technology. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, um, now maybe we can talk about your newest uh, baby, the S4 that you just uh, launched fairly recently. And ano naman ang ano nito? Ano naman ang uh, uh, may bang natin sa S4? Actually, sir, for the S4, it was um, thank you, pala, sir, for the support when we launched the S4. Um, this was actually like a baby S7. Mm-hmm. Lahat ng features ng S7 nilagay namin sa S4. So essentially, kasi if you not, um, if I, I compare it to the S2s, the S2s would have two to three features of the ten features of the S7. 
But with the S7, we place all the features of the S7 into a smaller car. So even the lane departure warning, the, the front collision warning, everything is there. Sabi ko nga, kumbaga, talagang literally, anak ng S7 si S4. And plus, what's so good the about this... the same suite. The same suite of technologies nilipat yes, nyo, parang smaller lang. That's it. That's the only difference. Yes, sir. That's the only difference. And what, what we're very proud with this, sir, is this is the car that um, was built in the first partnership that we had with Volkswagen. So the quality and the technology, my German, kumbaga may lahing German yung, S, yung S4. So kaya that's why we that's why when we launched the vehicle we want we we were highlighting that the S4 is a vehicle that you don't you will not compromise in because essentially sir as you, we all know as I've also done in the past when you're trying to buy a vehicle you always want to make sure that it fits your budget and you're willing to let go of some of the bells and whistles that you would want just to just to meet your budget and with the S4 we're proud to say that you don't have to do that. I bought actually, sir, just to share my personal story, if you don't mind. Uh, my Suzuki Ertiga, the budget I had was um, 800 only. And then, when I saw the, the top-of-the-line version, I wanted the top-of-the-line version. But given the budget that I had, I had to sacrifice some of the features and go for the middle variant. That's what we want to avoid with the, cross, with the S4 that we launched. People compromising specs and features just to meet their budget. And because the, the top-of-the-line variant that we have is only priced at... Right now, it, because of the launch um, the launch promo that we have, it's only priced at $1,058,000. And getting all the features of the S7. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you have any special deals at the moment? I mean, for, for the S4, may introductory price ba kayo? Or meron kayo easy, easy ownership plans, mga ganyan? So, yun na po yung ano. Yung 1,058,000 is the um, introductory price that we have. Because the regular okay. price of the ultimate variant or the top-of-the-line variant of the S4 is at 1,098,000. So, we gave a 40,000 discount for the initial. Because right now, honestly, we brought in... Um, this when we brought in this unit, we also had some challenges with the pandemic and all that. Um, we, we wanted to make sure that the people will be able to avail of the vehicle at a lower price. So we place it at one million fifty eight at the moment. And of course, we have the usual all in low down promos um, that we have. It's uh, plus if they want to see it, they can check. Sorry, hindi ko kabisado, sir. Uh, they can they can check it out at our Facebook page. And given the lineup, kasi sir, we have 11 cars now. And uh, hindi ko na minsan nakakabisado lahat ng all-in pricing natin. <laughs> okay, so, okay. So that's yung uh, S2, S3, S4, and S7. Yung lineup ninyo ng um, crossovers and SUVs. Um, yes, sir. From there, may MPV kayo, the M3 Compact MPV, you know? Yes, sir. We do have the M3. This is the van that we wanted to compete. It's an eight-seater van um, with a 1.6-liter um, engine, NA then. Um, it's actually, the intention when we brought this in was to compete in the seven-seater segment, although it's an eight-seater. And this is just, although it only comes in a manual transmission, this is only priced at 895,000 pesos. So we wanted to give them a seven seater, but us ours is an eight seater, a bigger and bigger capacity. So that's the that's the advantage that we have on the M3. And aside from the M3, sir, we also have the M4. Mm -hmm. This is our eleven seater MPV. Um, this is um, this has a two point zero turbocharged diesel engine. Although it's also manual, we don't have an automatic transmission yet. And it's a six-speed transmission manual. Um, that we, it's priced at only 1.2 million pesos. So actually, on the average, if we compare ourselves to um, other brands, whether Japanese or Chinese, we're about 200,000 pesos cheaper. Cheaper. Yes, sir. Now but sharing. Course, up. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, actually, sir, yun nga, pero while we are cheaper, we don't sacrifice on the, the features. The features. That's what, one thing. Po. Now, sharing the engine with the uh, M4, tama ba? Yung T6, pareho silang engine, a 2-liter uh, diesel? 
Yes, sir. Uh, there's the same engine, two, two liter turbocharged uh, diesel. Although the 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 tuning is different. Siempre, sir. When, when, if you have if you're using it for a van and a pickup, that would be two different uh, different oh. settings, sir. Po. So T6, yun yung uh, pickup nyo kaya sa isang uh, pickup unit for now ng JAC. Um, and then you have the Sunray and the X200, tama ba? That, that completes the lineup. Yes, sir. Actually, yung, ano, aside from the T6, yung 2.0 engine ng M4 and T6, kasaparehas din sa X200. X200. Yes. So, it's a utility light commercial vehicle namin na yun. Um, This is actually the X200. There's so many variants. We have a ref van. We have an aluminum van. We have a passenger van. We also have a drop side pickup for the X200 for business purposes. And the price ranges from 820 to 985,000 depending on the AC setup. Siyempre, there's dual AC, there's just front AC. We provide we we gave everybody the the option to have the set the AC setup that they want. So siyempre kanya-kanyang budget 'yan. Siyempre when it's for business, hindi naman lahat gusto ng AC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Correct, and yung correct. na-mention yun na sir na Sunray Big Van This is what I want to buy for myself soon <laughs> <laughs> Kasi I, I already am driving the S7 But I want the Big Van simply because it's so big And yung mga anak ko makakapaglaro sa loob pag nagbabiyahe kami <laughs> Ang taas um, ng headroom ha? Yes sir, pag, actually I'm 5 foot 11, hindi ako nang untog <laughs> Wow! Impressive, I'm 5 foot 11 um, one thing I liked about it when I saw it, sabi ko kasi the price lang talaga sobrang layo eh kumpara sa mga big vans that we see in the market. Uh, uh, when I, I actually checked big vans before I joined JAC kasi I want, when I saw the E150, I wanted something as big as that. Pero when I saw the price, medyo madugo eh. <laughs> so when I saw this big van and I learned about the price, the sun, there's three sun rays. Sunray 4, Sunray 5, and Sunray 6. Um, Sunray 4 is the smallest. The middle size is a Sunray 5, and the biggest is a Sunray 6. The Sunray 6 is already a six-wheeler. So, class 2 na siya. Um, but when I saw the price, the Sunray 4 is just priced at 1.3 million. A million cheaper than what I was looking at before. And then when somebody bought one from us and had it customized with uh, an aftermarket shop, place TVs, place a bathroom and all that, sabi ko, mag, uh, yung mga anak ko will enjoy this especially when traveling. Kasi we, we usually normally travel um, on the road. We we, we frequent kasi my, my wife has... Um, her family has a house in Tagaytay and we live in Paranaque. Over the weekend, we usually go there to relax. Mm-hmm. And minsan, di kami nagkakasya dun sa current car ko, kaya medyo... <laughs> Sabi ko, kailangan ko na naman people na mover. Yes. Oh, correct. Correct, correct. Now, of course, maganda yung mga ano, no? I mean, um, if, yun nga, like what you said, uh, yung features niya would rival those of, uh, those in a uh, higher price points, no? And, um, question though, would are all your units available for for test drive? If let's say people want to look at a certain uh, or a specific model, at saka, ano, san ba yung mga dealerships nyo? Yes, actually, sir, we have dealerships in Alabang, um, in Westgate, Alabang. We also have one in Pasong Tamo, Makati, Pasong Tamo Extension, and then we also have one in Santa Rosa. And actually, we have already we already also have one in Cebu. We're opening one in Iloilo. And um, we're opening two more shops, um, three more shops actually. One in Cavite, one in Batangas, and another one in the north. So provincial mm-hmm. na. Um, yes, um, all the models, we have test drive units for all the models. Um, the customers can always, um, as you know, everything's online now. So we encourage everybody to book their test drives online through the website. Once we get the request, we call the customer and we schedule the test drive. If they if they prefer that the unit be brought to them, we do. We we will make the arrangements. Okay, wow, well, it's good to know. I would, uh, maganda na sinabi mo na uh, people can book virtually, no? Because most of the brands, well, I think all of the brands right now are looking at the digital 
uh, platform kasi nga we are promoting social distancing no meron ba kayong plans to open a digital showroom a dedicated digital showroom for for Jack or JAC Actually sir you know I'm actually working on that now um kasi my experience before I was a digital marketing head of a financial institution I was the one who built their website and I'm I want to do the same with Jack I have so many things um, actually go ongoing right now to get to that point. But yes, we want to give the customers the full online experience. Because right now, we are doing it all online. Most of the releases that we've had over uh, July and June were all done online. And the only interaction was um, the customer, either they pick up the unit at the store or, a part, or we deliver the cars to them. So... Right now, that's what we want to do. Medyo manual pa online, messaging and all that, email. But eventually, we want them to be able to do it um, seamlessly through the website without even having to send them at send attachments through Facebook Messenger. So we want to give that experience all on the website. Now, you're just two years old, you know? I mean, most of your dealerships. Um, what are What are the... Uh, parang growing pains of uh, Jack JAC um, especially after after sales uh, service uh, na na-encounter niyo so far actually sir one of the things that we made sure um, we know that we only have um, three dealerships when we started it's not as much we all know that and uh, being a car owner myself and being a car guy that I am uh, I understand that people's number one concern is whether is there a place where I can get my car serviced? And there's a convenient location. What This is one of the advantages that we have over the other brands, over the newer brands that's out in the market, is that while we don't have much dealerships, we have Rapidy as our official after-sales partner. So, uh, as you know, we have over... Because um, Rapidy is under the Leica group of companies. Um, and it's one of our sister company or brother, sister company. So we we trained all of the rapid day ser service centers with the JAC standards. So if people is looking to get their unit service at, at rapid day, they may do so at any time. Just have to coordinate with us, and then we will coordinate with the specific rapid day service center that they prefer, and book the schedule with them. So even if like that's why. People are surprised that we have owners from Bulacan, from Cainta, when we don't have any dealerships near those areas. But it, it is because we, we they are confident that there's rapid day centers near them where they can bring their cars for service. So that's one that's of the amazing. selling points that we have because we actually even um, so we we even have some service centers in Pampanga and also in Pangasinan. And during the COVID season, we had owners in Pangasin lock, um, owners lockdown in Pangasinan was telling us, thankfully, there's rapid day in Pangasinan. I didn't have to go home and go, go through the hassle of getting the travel pass mm -hmm. and all that. And they were serviced. They got their PMS done in Pangasinan. And of course, itong mga rapid day na to, they, uh, they can replace, uh, they, have, uh, kumbaga, they have inventory of official or authorized parts, right? Yes, sir. Um, they have inventory of official uh, authorized parts for PMS. We are working on getting even getting them inventory even on the um, repair parts. Right now, um, the, um, at this time, they are ready to do PMS at any given point. And we are working towards having them stock inventory for repair. Galing. So that's good to know. At least you know, um, despite yung uh, kakulangan pa ng dealerships, uh, they can visit Rapid Day Centers for their the needs of yung JAC units nila. How are, are you looking at expanding your dealership network? Uh, how many how many more maybe in 2020 or in 2021? Uh, for this year, sir, um, we are in the process of opening uh, three more dealerships this year, uh, mostly provincial. One is in Cavite. One is in Batangas and one is in La Union. So we're hoping that those we are in the final um the, the stages to um in the finalizing stages, getting the dealers to um sign the agreements and actually start training already their salespeople and operations people. 
So we are actually excited that people have shown interest in the brand and are willing to even put up dealerships despite what's happening right now. So we're very excited for those as well. Right. Oh, dahil habang nagsasara yung iba, kayo, I mean, at least you're looking at three for this year, yes, no? Uh, good yes, luck, uh, congratulations on the effort that you you guys are putting out. Um, now, going back to, kasi pinatapos natin yung lineup that you have here, uh, we were you talked about the IEV S2 na, yes, na sir. pakaipasok ninyo, no? Um, you mentioned the S2 is about 798, tama ba? Yes, sir. So, how much are you looking at uh, yung, yung pricing nyo for the uh, iEV S2? And to be honest, sir, Eric, we haven't actually touched Wala pa. on the pricing yet. Okay. We, we Ay, want to bring it in. <laughs> I wish I could give you an amount right now, <laughs> pero wala pa, sir. Pero definite, you know naman, sir, how EVs are priced right now. Even mm. the hybrids nga, medyo ano yan. Well, but 1. of course... 1.5 yung pinaka-affordable uh, uh, right now, di ba? The hybrid. Yes, the, yung sedan na uh, Altis. So, we're, we're definitely hoping to still stay, um, stay with the tradition Under. that we would be 300 or 200,000 cheaper. Cheaper. So, 1.2. 1.2 daw, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> sabi ni Brian yun, sabi ni Brian yun. <laughs> oh, Pwede nyo i-cope yun, Coach. <laughs> of course, ano naman yan, sir. Um, Siyempre, we want to provide affordable vehicles to the to the market. So, and given naman the tradition of the pricing that we've had, with the entire lineup that we have, it's about around that dif- that much difference. So, we'll see, sir. <laughs> uh, you have any promos? Baka papalo ako nito after nito, <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh, mukhang marami na ikinig na taga. Yeah. Oh. So, marami tayong uh, oh. viewers ngayon on Facebook. Kasama natin, by the way, Brian Badilla mula po sa JAC Motors. Um, you you have any um, promos ongoing, uh, upcoming na gusto mo na i-preplug? Actually, sir, for JAC lang, uh, we want, I'd like to invite everybody to check out the S4. Um, this is the newest crossover that we have uh, and we're sure that with the S4 they will not compromise any specs any features just to meet their budget it is superior, it is smart it is safe and it is stylish um, the price right now starts at only 818,000 for the lowest variant at the top of the line variant is at 1,058,000 so imagine uh, the affordability of the vehicle at that point so, we, I'd like to invite everybody to visit our website, which is jackmotors.ph. And they may also um, visit our official Facebook page at Jack Motors Philippines. And um, just to say lang, no, Jack Motors Philippines, there's, when they search for it, there's going to be two uh, results. Because there's a, a different distributing ha- distributor handling the commercial vehicles. Oh, yung mga so, yes, sir. Um, and then they can also visit and check the specs of the vehicle through our YouTube channel. They just have to search Jack Motors Philippines. There's going to be a lot of playlists there that they can watch um, different uh, spe- specifications. We actually haven't put that. We haven't put out all the other videos, but in the next week or so, we will put out all the videos for them to appreciate the vehicle, um, the 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 tech the technology behind it the hard work that the company has done plus the partnership and it having the Volkswagen DNA so that's why it's something for them to really look into and uh, give a chance and um, hopefully get for their own so thank you very much sir Eric and hey, you're um, pero sir Brian Cap- before before you go just para may reference lang no because your 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 brand is still very new para may reference lang yung mga listeners ano so the S4 is a compact crossover we, can 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 we can i name out a model para lang ma you know ma connect ng tao kung anong size niya would that you, be sir. okay i let um, you sir <laughs> are we are we looking at CRV RAV4 size o mas malaki no sir it's a little bit smaller smaller than okay so we're looking at para XV Yes, sir, mga ganun. Parang XV, okay. So, that's yes, uh, at least kung uh, yung tinitingnan yung size ano, ng uh, S4, yung bagong-bagong labas ng uh, JAC Motors. Again, the website is jacmotors.ph. 
Yes, sir. That's right. Okay, kasi kung hindi, mapupunta kayo dun sa mga truck. Doon ako napunta kanina eh. Ko, ito ba, binibenta lahat. Oh, Pero, bumalik ka ng truck. May light duty, heavy duty, super heavy duty. <laughs> may mga forklift doon, sir. May fork, may forklift pa, oh. Ay, Sabi ko, ano, maglalamove ka na rin. <laughs> Brian, maraming, maraming salamat. Very uh, maraming, eye-opening. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Brian. More power to you guys. More power Thank to you, you guys. Thank you for guesting. Uh, Palitaan Brian. mo kami, ha? Oo. Oh, oh. yes, oh, yung presyo, ha? 1.3. Oh, sabi po, 1.3, ha? Sabi ni Brian, 1.3. Kami dapat makakauna ni Eric, ha? Sa presyo, ha? Uh, 1.2, 1.3. Oh, wala naman ang trabaho niyan, sir. <laughs> Brian Badilla, Marketing and Sales Director of Thank JAC Motors. Thank you very much, sir. More power to you, Gearbox. Thank you, Brian. We'll take a break. Gearbox, magbabalik pagkatapos ng ilang sandali.